Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're looking at question 8 which is a 50 mark question on sequences and series. So part A of the question tells us that a death charge is an anti-submarine warfare weapon that was used in World War II. A testing facility collects data on how far the shockwave of an explosion travels in each second after the explosion and they collect the following observations. So the time in seconds and then the distance travelled in the previous second in metres. So A part 1 is worth 5 marks. So it says, assuming that the distance travelled in the previous second follows a geometric sequence, find the common ratio OR. So the common ratio is just the ratio between two consecutive terms. So to find that, you divide the first term by the term that directly follows it. So in other words, OR will be equal to T2 divided by T1, which will be equal to T3 divided by T2, and so on. So a formula for OR is TN divided by TN minus 1. So in our case here, T2 will be 518.4 and T1 is 777.6. So we're going to do 518.4 over 777.6 and popping that into the calculator, we get 2 over 3. So therefore, OR is equal to 2 over 3. So that's our answer for A part 1. Now let's have a look at A part 2. So this is worth 10 marks. It wants us to find the total distance travelled by the wave in the first 5 seconds. Now this is basically finding the sum of the first 5 terms and we have a formula for this in the formal table book. It's on page 22 and it's this formula right here, the second last formula on the page. So a multiplied by 1 minus or to the power of n over 1 minus or, where a is the first term and or is the common ratio, with n being the nth term, so the amount of terms. So now let's pop in or values for a or an n into the formula and work out what or value is for the first five terms added together. So our first term is 777.6, so a is going to be 777.6, or the common ratio will be 2 over 3. And then n is going to be 5 as it's the first 5 seconds of the first 5 terms. So now let's pop these into the formula and see what we get. So we get 777.6 times by 1 minus 2 over 3 to the power of 5. All of that over 1 minus 2 over 3. So let's pop this into the calculator now and see what we get. So that gives us 2025.6 meters. So the wave travelled 2025.6 meters in the first 5 seconds. So that's our answer for A part 2. And now we're going to have a look at A part 3 which is also worth 10 marks. So this says, in which second does the wave travel less than 100 meters for the first time? So the first thing we need to do here is work out a formula for the general term, and it's on page 22 again of the formula and tables book. So it's Tn is equal to A or to the power of N minus 1. So we have our A and the OR, but we need to work out what our N is. So A, which is 777.6, times by 2 over 3 to the power of N minus 1. And we need to work out where that's going to be smaller than 100 for the first time. So the first thing to do is to divide both sides by 777.6. That's going to give me 2 over 3 to the power of N minus 1 is smaller than 100 over 777.6. Now, the variable is in the exponent up here. So the only way to bring that down so that it's not an exponent is to use logs. And you can follow the rules that are on page 21 of your formal tables book to do this. So let's have a look. So it's this formula right here. So if you have x to the power of some number q and you get the log of that, that's equal to that number q times by the log of the number x. So in our case here, we have 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. So if I take the log of 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1, that's actually the same thing as n minus 1 times by log of 2 over 3. So I'm going to rewrite that as n minus 1 times by log of 2 over 3, but we also have to get the log of 100 over 777.6. So you have to do the log on both sides, not just one side. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log of 2 over 3. However, as log 2 over 3 is negative, I also have to change this sign here in the middle. So it's going to flip so that n minus 1 is actually bigger than log of 100 over 777.6 divided by log of 2 over 3. So let's do log of 100 over 777.6 divided by log of 2 over 3. And that's equal to 5.0584921.52. So we get n minus 1 is greater than 5.0584921.52. And I'm just going to add 1 to both sides, which will leave me with n is greater than 6.0585 which will give me n is greater than 6.0585, which means that the wave will travel less than 100 meters for the first time during the seventh second. So that's our answer for A part three, and now we're gonna move on to part B of the question, and B is worth five marks. So it says that debt charges are also used to check for the presence of submarines in an area. Water resistance is greater than air resistance, with the distance traveled in the previous second following a geometric distribution with common ratio one over nine. Then we're asked to complete the following table, so we're given time in seconds from one to six, and then the distance traveled in the previous second in meters. So to find the next term, we're going to multiply the previous term by 1 over 9. So the first one is going to be 729 by 1 over 9, which is 81. And then you're going to multiply that by 1 over 9, which gives us 9. And follow on the pattern until you get them all filled in. So answer, which is 9 by 1 over 9, is going to be 1. And then 1 by 1 over 9 is going to be 1 over 9. And then 1 over 9 by 1 over 9 is going to be 1 over 81. So there we have all of our values for the table. And then we can move on to part C of the question. And C part 1 is worth 10 marks. So C tells us that the lake where the death tests are taking place is home to particularly fast growing lily pads, which double in size each day. The surface area of the lily pads is initially 
5 meters squared. So then C part 1 wants us to find the area covered by lily pads after the nth day. So in other words here, it's doubling every day, which means that the common ratio is going to be equal to 2. And on the first day, it's equal to 5, so therefore A is equal to 5. So we can use our formula here for the general term, which will give us the nth term. And just a reminder that the general term is this term here. But be careful here, it's not going to be n minus 1, it's just going to be to the power of n. As we're starting off with 5, that's actually day 0 rather than day 1. So it's just going to be to the power of n. So it's going to be a, which is 5, times by or, which is 2, to the power of n. So as I said, it's not 5 on day 1, it's 5 on basically day 0. They start at 5 meters squared. So that's why it's to the power of n and not to the power of n minus 1. So now let's have a look at C part 2, which is also worth 10 marks. So this says that it takes 30 days for the lily pads to cover all the lake. Find how long it takes for the lily pads to cover exactly half of the lake. So the full area of the lake will be covered when after 30 days, which means when n is equal to 30. So it's 5 times by 2 to the power of 30. So we're going to half that to work out how long it takes for them to cover exactly half the lake. So that gives us 26843545560. So now we're going to do 5 by 2 to the power of n is equal to that number there and then solve for n. So dividing both sides by 5 and we get 2 to the power of n is equal to 53687912. And now we're going to use our logarithm rule to get the variable down from the exponent. So we're going to say that n times by log 2 is equal to log of 53687912. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 2 to get my answer. So we're going to say log answer then divide that by log 2 and we get 29. So therefore n is equal to 29. So the lily pads will cover half of the lake in 29 days. And you could have actually worked this out as well as if it doubles every day and it's full on the 38th day. That means then it must have been half full on the day before that which is the 29th day so that's the mathematical way to show that uh, and we get n is equal to 29 days so that's our answer for c part 2 the final part of the question and the end of the video so thank you very much for watching and i hope i helped